Halloween is creeping up on us, and I'm sure a lot of your kiddos are excited to stock up on that Halloween candy. I know I am. Well, it's all fun and games for them. It's important to remind your kids about those safety precautions. So joining me now, Sergeant Tanya Tater with Jacksonville uh, Beach and tells us families can trick or treat with Jack's Beach first responders after being canceled last year because of the pandemic. So tell me a little bit about this event. Yes, we put this event on every year during Halloween, but unfortunately, because of COVID, we have not been able to do it last year, but we're very excited we get to start it again this year, and it's going to be held down um, at 2500 South Beach Parkway at the fire station there, the Jacksonville uh, Fire Station number 60, and it's open air, so the families can bring their kids in, wander through the folly ports where they usually keep the fire engines. We're going to have games set up there, and they're going to get candy. Um, there's going to be a pinata um, breaking with candy open, and they get to see police vehicles. They get to see fire engines, interact with uh, the fire and police department, and just have a good overall family time. And, and you know, safety is so important. So, again, this is happening on Halloween from 5 to 7 p.m. You know, what can parents really expect for their children? And tell me about past events, what it's like. Um, we've had a really good turnout in past events because it is family oriented. Um, it's a safe place to come and um, the park's right there beside it. So a lot of times they'll go play at the park for a little bit and then they'll step on over not even realizing that there was a Halloween event going on and um, partake in the games and getting the candy and uh, interacting with, you know, police and fire. What are you most excited for? I'm excited to see the kids back out again. Um, you know, we've been shut down for so long due to COVID and we always have fun interacting with the kids and seeing what their costumes are like. And uh, we look forward to getting them back out there and the families out there and getting back to somewhat normal again. All right, here's the most important question. How much candy do we have prepared for this? We have a lot. So our Citizens Police Academy Alumni Association it's a group of volunteers here at our department, uh, consists of about 138 members. They have all pitched in and donated candy. So there's more than plenty for everybody. You know, that's what every kid is wondering. Is there going to be enough candy? You have to make sure. All right, Tanya Tater, one more time. When is this event and how can people join in on the fun? It is on Sunday evening, actually Halloween, uh, October the 31st, between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m at the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department, station number 60, which is right there beside Sunshine Park. It's 2500 South Beach Parkway, and we look forward to seeing everybody out there. Tanya Tater, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. All right, and don't forget, we do want to see all of your Halloween photos from this weekend. You can share them by uploading them to Snapjacks. If you have a spooky, funny, cute costume, just go to newsforjacks.com slash snapjacks and post it under our Halloween category. Now about your scary display in your neighborhood? We want to see it. Dress the, pets up to, dress the pets up to take part in the fun. Snap it. Or if you see a really creative pumpkin carving, snap it and share it. Remember, you have to be a News for Jacks insider to post on Snapjacks. That's simple, too. If you're not already a member, go to newsforjacks.com slash insider and sign up. It takes less than 30 seconds, and your photo might just end up in one of the newscasts.